Hi there, welcome to the Escape Project. Um, this is the training course and it's about how to develop successful and um, high quality rural tourism strategies for tourism businesses and destinations. Um, module 7 looks at the environmental sustainability and it focuses on rural tourism SMEs in Europe. Okay, so what are we going to be talking about in this project and in this module in particular is the ambition well, of this module is to demonstrate rural tourism entrepreneurs, inclusive culture, heritage or nature based tourism, how to implement environmentally sustainable principles and initiatives in their current and future SME businesses. This module demonstrates management practices, support systems, and solutions in a practical and demonstrative way so rural tourism entrepreneurs can safeguard long-term sustainability and um, competitiveness in their European tourism landscape. Successful long-term sustainable tourism development requires um, an established balance between three key dimensions, the environmental, the economic and the social cultural. cultural. This module focuses on the environmental aspect and the solutions businesses can realise and the opportunities and the benefits that come from that. So we look at the topics. So topic number one is defining environmentally sustainable tourism. Topic number two is the main goals of environmentally sustainable tourism. And we look at different European and international organizations and what they say. Then we look at the implementation. So how to prioritize and implement sustainable environmental culture and heritage activities into a tourism business and then how to avoid the um, failing the implementation. So learning outcomes. So what are you expected to learn in this course? So in this module in particular, you will learn how to become a future game changer in rural tourism by learning the key reasons to integrate environmentally sustainable tourism practices. You will understand the opportunities and increase your knowledge by learning from market leaders and best practices across Europe. You'll learn how to get your visitors involved by building their awareness and setting up reasonable activities. You will learn how to collaborate and get the best out of your staff so that they are informed, aware and they can contribute to the delivery of environmental business solutions. And you will develop and implement customised, priority driven environmental checklists and solutions. So topic one is defining environmentally sustainable tourism. So here we look at a few definitions. So we have some from the WNWTO. And um, here are some more definitions. And then we have some resources here at the bottom for extra reading. So here you can see there's a webinar. And then here we have some other ideas from an article, which are green ideas. Number two is the main goals of sustainable tourism. So here we look at the main 12 goals for sustainable tourism, which were demonstrated and laid out by the World Tourism Organization and the United Nations Environment Programme. So the first one is about economic viability, and that means the competitiveness is enhanced at tourism destinations and enterprises. The local prosperity, so that the contribution of tourism recognizes and enhances the prosperity of um, the local populations, the communities, and by example, visitor spending. Then you have the biological diversity, which supports natural areas, habitats, and wildlife. Then we look at number four, which is about employment quality. So how do you strengthen the number of people and jobs supported by tourism that are sustainable, their pay, and that they're inclusive, and um, other factors involved in human resource management? Then number five, it's about social equity. So how you can distribute the economic and social benefits of tourism to the community, including opportunities, income and services available to the poor. Number six is how to provide visitor fulfillment, that it's safe destination and business, a fulfilling experience and it's satisfying, it's satisfying. Then you look at local control. So how are you planning and managing the development of tourism in your industry and in your destination and businesses? Number eight is the community well-being, so how you can include the well-being and the social structures, resources and amenities so that everybody can benefit without social or environmental degradation or exploitation to the destination. Then we look at cultural richness, so how to enhance respect and sustain historic heritage, authentic culture and traditions within the host communities. Number 11 is the environmental purity. 
So how do you minimize the pollution of air, noise pollution, water, land, and make sure that the tourism industry contributes to that? Then you have the physical integrity, where you maintain and enhance the quality of the landscapes. And that includes urban, rural, and avoid the physical and visual degradation of environments. And then a resource, resource efficiency to make sure that there's enough um, services and resources for everybody in the destination, including tourism and businesses, and of course, the visitors and the communities. This could include water, it could include air, it could include access to roads and other different facilities within the destination. So let's look at some quick examples of sustainable rural environmental tourism approaches. So one would be looking at sustaining and improving the natural and physical built environment. The next part could be you could educate the tourists and get them involved and make sure they minimize the issues and impacts that evolve from environmental tourism. And look at high quality design, how you can improve visual environmental experiences through innovative and new practices possibly in architecture, it could be in building, or it could be in events and, and festival management. How you underpin the quality of the local environment and facilitate further employment. How you can underwrite environmental schemes, improvements to the natural and built environment, and conserve and enhance quality and features of the landscapes. How you can enhance access and appeal. So it's a very holistic approach to um, tourism and sustainable tourism for environmental approach and again improving the community health and well-being and improving access. So number one part of the section three is how to prioritize and implement sustainable environmental activities into rural tourism business. So what does it look like? So for example tourists may not always seek green accommodation but having green practices is ex expected as a standard practice in business today especially when we consider climate change and other factors that are affecting the world. Um, how to implement a green management approach. So this section covers a series of environmental friendly SME checklists that business can use to enhance their guest experience that are green or sustainable approaches. And we call this the green management approach. How to build a green reputation. So how you can stand out from your competitors and you're seen by your guests as someone and your community as someone who takes responsibility for your impact on the environment. So what we suggest you start with low hanging fruit and implement what is easy as possible and doesn't have a lot of restraint on your resources um, and what is achievable to your business, of course. So again, here you can see some more um, quick definitions and um, quotes down at the bottom. Part two exercises and checklists. So time to start implementing environmental sustainable approaches. So this is an exercise where you're going to start implementing your own environmental sustainable approaches. And we look at a few different checklists and step-by-step -step approaches where you can um, actually achieve this. So how you can, ha it helps you to focus, understand and prioritize what actually will work for your business and implement them. And as you implement them, you can tick them off as you go to become an environmentally sustainable business. OK, so let's get started. Checklist one. So checklist one looks at your energy efficiency, your conservation and management. So, for example, it looks at different things like how to conduct an energy audit, how to monitor, record and post rates of energy, um, how to look at different systems, how to make sure that you're using your existing resources and infrastructure such as doors and windows correctly and how you can improve them. Um, how to moderate and make sure that your water is sustainable. Um, you can look at things like different things, like looking at replacing different lighting um, and different programs that you can include, such as smart thermostat. Checklist number one again, so you can use um, natural daylight, how you can turn off electric equipment. And for example, you can use um, sensor lights that saves considerably on different energy efficiencies. So there's a whole list there that businesses can look at and they can pick out the ones that are relevant or that are priority to them or that are easily implemented. And then again, here you have some resources here that you can read for further reading. Checklist two looks at fresh water consumption and reduction. So how you conduct a water audit and regulate inspections and educate your staff and looks at different equipment and appliances and what you can do there. It also looks at how to um, 
look, I would say low flow aerators, um, how to recirculate chilled water, you know, recycling and uh, water, uh, cleaning windows, for example, but rainwater, floor cleaning equipment, and make sure that you avoid polluting the water with cleaning detergents. Checklist three looks at solid waste management, reduction, reuse, recycle. So how you can reduce, reuse, recycle products, for example, in packaging, unwanted equipment, unused food, disposable products, and look at reusable options, you know, and how you can recycle them into your business, maybe create a circle um, economy business. Maybe, for example, you might look at considering refillable mugs instead of getting paper mugs and reduce the waste on those. And then your purchasing policy. So, for example, you could work with suppliers who only provide um, environmentally friendly packaging and products. So if we look again, more here is about um, how you can look at, um, for example, how to recycle antique furniture, how to um, look at recycling compost or, you know, for example, you might use your food waste for compost, recycling paper, plastic bottles, expired stock and so much more. So number four, topic four, how to avoid failing implementing environmental tourism. So the importance of sustainable tourism has been receiving increased recognition in recent years, highlighting the potential importance of incorporating the sustainable development goals. So there's loads of information online on the sustainable development goals and a lot of support measures there as well to help you get started and they have their own checklists. But as well as that, nobody is responsible in terms of businesses and destinations being sustainable. It's everybody's business and everybody is responsible. But it's always good for a business to assign a green coordinator or a staff member to do this. Poor planning. So make sure you get organized, get your checklist, prioritize your checklist and start implementing your sustainable practices as soon as you can. OK, so you also need to make sure once you have everything implemented that you monitor and evaluate. So you can't manage what you don't measure. So make sure to monitor, measure and compare. And managing the blind or informed. So without properly understanding how your business is environmentally sustainable, you're not going to really do, you're not really going to do what you need to do properly. So you need to make sure you know what you're doing and that you're aware of how your business can be sustainable. In the website, there are some various case studies and we have some additional as a resource reading as well. So there's some extra material here and that is module seven.